Ever thought you knew who first discovered America? Hint, it's not Columbus. We've been taught to believe that Christopher Columbus was the first European to set foot on North American soil. But in reality, a Norse explorer named Leif Erikson beat him to it by about five centuries. This era of exploration was filled with daring adventurers and incredible journeys. Now let's journey back to the 10th century and meet the real pioneer, Leif Erikson. Born around 970 in Iceland, Leif Erikson was destined for the sea. As the son of Erik the Red, the infamous Norse explorer who founded Greenland's first colonies, Erikson was steeped in a world of exploration and conquest from a very young age. Growing up amidst the rugged beauty of Greenland, the young Erikson was shaped by the harsh realities of the Nordic life. A life marked by fierce winters, unrelenting seas, and the constant promise of undiscovered lands. His father, Eric the Red, was not just a father but also a mentor, instilling in Ericsson a deep sense of adventure and a thirst for the un- Through Eric the Red's tales of sea voyages and sea voyages and distant lands, Ericsson was imbued with an insatiable curiosity, a trait that would later lead him to venture beyond the known world. And so, Ericsson's destiny was set, his father's adventurous spirit was in his veins, Around 1000 AD, Ericsson sailed off into the unknown, far beyond where any European had ventured. With an audacious spirit and an unquenchable thirst for discovery, Leif Ericsson embarked on a journey that would etch his name into the annals of history. What drove this Norse explorer to venture into uncharted waters? For one, Ericsson was not a man to shy away from danger. He was a Viking, after all. The promise of new lands and untold riches surely played a part. Yet it was his unyielding curiosity, his yearning to explore the world beyond the familiar, that truly propelled him forward. Ericsson's journey was fraught with challenges. His longboat, laden with his crew and meager supplies, was at the mercy of the wild Atlantic. They battled monstrous waves, relentless winds, and the biting cold. Each day was a struggle for survival a test of their resilience. Yet, Ericsson's determination never wavered. He pressed on, leading his crew with unwavering resolve. Guided by the stars and his inherent sense of direction, Ericsson navigated the treacherous seas. His journey led him to a land rich with dense forests and an abundance of wildlife. They had arrived at what is now known as Newfoundland, Canada. The sight of this new land, untouched and teeming with potential, must have been a sight to behold. This was a whole five centuries before Christopher Columbus would make his famed voyage. Ericsson had traversed the Atlantic, braved its fury, and discovered a new continent. He had done what no European had done before. He had opened up a whole new world, ripe for exploration and settlement. His journey was not just a personal achievement, but a monumental event that would shape the trajectory of human history. Ericsson had made history, the first European footprint on North American soil was his. His daring journey across the Atlantic stands as a testament to the indomitable human spirit, our insatiable curiosity, and our ceaseless quest for discovery. Ericsson's journey wasn't just a personal adventure. It opened up a new world for Europe. This expedition was a pivotal moment in history, setting the stage for the future exploration and eventual colonization of North America. Ericsson's exploration of Vinland, as he named it, which is believed to be modern-day Newfoundland in Canada, provided a beacon for future European explorers. His journey across the Atlantic demonstrated that the sea was not an insurmountable barrier, but a gateway to new lands and opportunities. This knowledge would eventually lead to the Age of Exploration, a time when European countries embarked on numerous expeditions, expanding their reach and influence across the globe. However, despite the significance of Ericsson's journey, it's often overshadowed by that of Christopher Columbus, who arrived on the American continent nearly 500 years later. Why is this the case? Well, it largely boils down to timing and documentation. While Ericsson's journey was recorded in the Norse sagas, these accounts were largely forgotten by the wider world until their rediscovery in the 19th century. On the other hand, Columbus's voyage happened at the dawn of the age of printing, enabling his exploits to be widely publicized and immortalized in the annals of history. Furthermore, Columbus's journey had the backing of Spanish monarchs, 
which gave it a level of official recognition that Ericsson's expedition lacked. That said, Ericsson's journey shouldn't be dismissed. It was a testament to the daring and adventurous spirit of the Norse people. It also highlighted their advanced seafaring skills and knowledge, which allowed them to traverse the Atlantic Ocean hundreds of years before any other Europeans. Moreover, Ericsson's journey has left a lasting legacy. It challenged long-held beliefs about the world and opened the door for further exploration and discovery. It also serves as a reminder that history is complex and multifaceted, with many stories waiting to be uncovered. Ericsson's voyage marked a turning point in world history, setting the stage for future explorations. Despite being overshadowed by Columbus, Ericsson's journey to North America was a monumental event that reshaped the world as we know it. So, who discovered America? Certainly not Columbus. Let's circle back to the main points we've discussed. Norse explorer Leif Erikson, born around the year 970, predated Christopher Columbus's voyage to America by nearly 500 years. This fact alone challenges the common narrative that Columbus was the first European to step foot on American soil. In his youth, Erikson was exposed to the seafaring lifestyle of the Norse people. This early exposure undoubtedly played a part in shaping the adventurer he would become. His journey to North America, while not planned, was a monumental event in the annals of exploration. It marked the first known contact between Europe and North America, a moment that would have far-reaching implications for both continents. Ericsson's journey not only expanded the geographical knowledge of the time, but also paved the way for subsequent explorations and the eventual colonization of North America. His tale is a testament to the human spirit of adventure, the pursuit of the unknown, and the courage to venture beyond the familiar. In light of these truths, it's crucial that we recognize and acknowledge the real pioneer of American discovery, Life Erickson. His story serves as a reminder that history is often more nuanced than the version we're taught in school. Next time you think of the discovery of America, remember Leif Erickson, the real pioneer. If this video intrigued you, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more historical explorations.